Star Citizen number 3.18 is finally allowing me to do something I have been hoping to do ever since I started playing in the Persistent Universe and when I think of it, it actually enables the viability of a profession that hasn't gotten much love from Clan Pierre Games. Let's talk about it in today's video. Hello, it's Irad, and in today's video I want to talk about exploration in Star Citizen, which, from what you are going to see in today's video, is finally becoming a reality in this game. At least one particular aspect of exploration. Of course, when you think of exploration, you think of finding new locations, new resources, and even new jump points, and perhaps selling the data you would acquire. But Exploration doesn't need to be contained within the activity of finding new frontiers. You can ex also explore in known territories for opportunities to make money out of what you could find. Remains of past battles or perhaps uh, critical failures that resulted in ships being abandoned or destroyed. And this is something that Star Citizen of 3.18's Persistent Entity Streaming is enabling you to do. And for the purpose of this video, I will be flying Star Citizen's latest explorer ship, the Drake Corsair, because it's good at combat, and I don't want to become myself the subject of an exploration from another player. <laughs> and so, I decided to start my exploration journey with the various locations found around Planet Crusader. Drug labs, junkyards, but also comma rays and of course security post Great, Just not too close, otherwise I would end up being trespassing. And what I noticed is that if you use your ship's scanners, there are occasionally signals that it would find. Now those could be NPC ships, which might or might not be activated, or these could be wrecks, like this wreck of a constellation that I found here around security post Korea. At first, I thought that it was a player wreck, but I could not find any corpse nor any inventory box, so I concluded that it must have been a random wreck. And then I looked inside and I found a container. A one SCU container box laying inside, ripe to be taken. I left my ship, went into the wreck and I took it. Obviously, could have been anything, I had no idea about what it was, and of course, you'll have to wait until the end of this video to find out what it was, and yes, it was worth it. So, with that exciting fighting, I decided to keep looking for more opportunities, and I found a seemingly abandoned caterpillar with SSU of processed food and 8 SCU of scrap. Now this is not going to get me rich, and it probably won't be worth the effort, but at least I won't go home empty-handed if my first container was also not worth much, like hydrogen or quartz, for example. And to avoid getting a crime stat for vehicle or destru destruction, I just lowered the shields of that ship and shut the doors that eventually opened. The caterpillar didn't seem to respond, so I exited the ship and headed toward it to transfer the boxes one by one. This process is tedious, but also exciting at the same time, because you are literally putting money inside your ship for no investment at all but the time that you are spending doing so. Once the process complete and the caterpillar empty, I decided not to tend the devil and try to sell what I had acquired. Unfortunately, trade terminals were bugged on that day, so I could not do anything at Brio's Breakyard and I decided to log out at Port Olisar, hoping I would be able to call my ship on the following day. And it turned out that trade terminals did work on the following day and somehow I was able to sell the goods I had questionably acquired. Not all of them, only those at Port Olisar accepted processed food in this case. It wasn't much, but it was the first time I was making money out of exploration. It's also there that I noticed that I had an SCU of RMC, or Recycled Material Composite, which is the commodity that you get when you recycle whole parts. This was obviously coming from that wreck constellation I had explored earlier. So, since I was at Porto Risar, I decided to sell the processed food here at its normal price, for peanuts, but then I would go back to Brio's Breakyard and sell the RMC. I'm sure I could have tried to go to a landing zone to sell it for a little more, but considering I only had one container, it was not worth the effort, and it worked. 
Not only was the RMC sold for 5.46 thousand of UEC, but I was also able to sell the scrap too, resulting in a gain of 8.6 thousand alpha UEC, which may not seem much, but it's the first time ever I'm making money off that gameplay loop and I am sure that in the future I will be able to find ways to make more by being more effective, finding better regs or simply being luckier, which is something that is a plain part of this process. Uh, yes, you need to be lucky as well, but that's also true for other gameplay loops like mining or salvaging. And so, that is it for this video. I made money exploring in Star Citizen. I can't believe it, but I found it exciting and fun. And I cannot wait to do it again to see what I can find. One member of the Iraq Club, Intergalati Bacon, found the wreck of a Karak with 400 SEO of medical supplies and was able to take everything and sell it for an insane amount of money. And I am, of course, very jealous, but again, this is something that Star Citizen of 3.18's Persis and Entity Streaming allows us now to do. And I think that it is a huge addition to the game, especially when it comes to making the game more interesting and compelling. With that comes the end of this video, but let me know in the comment section down below what are the craziest finds that you've done in 3.18. Have you done some exploration too? How much money have you done doing so? Don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, this video was made possible thanks to the awesome contribution of my Patreon and YouTube members, including Dr. Fobin, Zero Crusher, Wolfpack Bug, or Deplorable Fidel. If you too want to help the channel out, you will find the links in the description down below. I've been Iran, wish you guys a wonderful day, and I will see you guys later.